So I'm back out doing some more landscape photography. Um, this wasn't the plan for today. The plan was to go back to, um, to photograph the deer, but we couldn't make it up the road because although it's not that bad here, um, this road is gritted. Um, it's sort of in the arse end of nowhere, the place that we go to, and there's like four or five hairpins that you got to go up and there's just no chance. So, um, we got up at four o'clock to go there. So, not really in the best of mood right now, but I'm trying to make the most of it. And we've stopped at Ullswater and there's some snow on top of these rocks. Um, it's quite gray today, which isn't really helping with things either, but the plan in my head is to get foot of those rocks and then there's a line of trees over there. Um, I've got the 100 millimeter and I've got the 400 millimeter. So I'm probably gonna focus in a bit closer on those. But for this first photo, I've got the tripod set up here. And I don't really do many long exposures, but for this one, I'm at 30 seconds. And I'm just focusing on this rock here. And I've got a polarizer on just to um, get rid of some of this glare on the water. And all of that's smoothing out. And then you're looking up at those trees. Um, this is Hallin Fell, I think. But it is nice. So we'll take this one. I'm just using the two second timer. And then we'll leave that running for 30 seconds. The reason I'm doing a long exposure on this one is I like to keep the um, ISO as low as possible. So I'm on 50. And when you stop down to F11, F14, then you get a like a really long shutter speed anyway. And it is sort of helping. Um, that water out there is quite ripply. And it's a little bit distracting, I guess. I always think the long exposure are a bit of a bit of a gimmick, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might up the ISO and go to F8 instead. Then maybe it'll be about 15 seconds. Maybe I prefer that, but we'll have a bit of a play. But here's the first photo. That looks a bit overexposed to me actually. So I'm gonna um, speed up the shutter and go to 15 seconds. So I'm going to get what I want anyway. Yeah, I think that looks better. I think the reason I don't like the long exposure is it makes it too perfect. I like there being some like imperfections, like natural bits, because I find it a bit too distracting when it's just perfect, because I don't know, not me. So. I'm gonna leave that one there set up. I'm just gonna have a quick wander around up here and see if we can find any more compositions. I'm trying to stick to close to these rocks so that I don't get any footprints and like mess up other people's photos in case they come later. But it might look quite nice looking back that way actually. Maybe a portrait shot in that strip there. Got all the ducks. It'd be quite a similar photo, really, but just in that strip there, I think that might work quite well. I'll catch it. You're going to catch it? Maybe. It's heavy. <laughs> Go on then. Nope. So 
So I've swapped the compositions now and I've gone for that portrait shot and um, the snow just started as I started talking. It's quite heavy now and the wind picked up slightly before as well. So the, even though I was just slagging off long exposures, it actually looked better there, I think, because it was like really riffly. Can I give you this back? Ready? So now you can't really see anything behind the trees. Um, that might work out better for um, just getting like a simple shot of those trees after this. I've calmed down a little bit now as well, even though I was sat laughing a bit before. I was a bit annoyed about this. Just getting up at four in the morning to go and see deer and then photographing some rocks aren't quite on the same level for me. I was quite looking forward to seeing deer in the snow. But it wasn't meant to be. This looks quite nice actually. It simplified the shot quite a bit more. And we got two layers of the stones. You can hear the geese out there. And then you get like a thin strip of this snow here and then them trees here. And we're at 15 seconds. Should probably go a bit quicker now. Uh, 13 seconds. And it's sort of awkward because if you watch to the side of the stones, This one's sort of distracting when it's there, but I do like that little one behind it. So what I've done is I've got it as close as I can to these ones on the side. And then I think I want it in slightly more. Yeah, I think that's better. So we'll grab this one. I've got it so that the snow starts in this bottom left hand side as well. Like down in this bit. I quite like things to start there. But that looks quite nice. <laughs> I'm going to swap over to the 100mm now and then get a shot of that and then I might end the video there because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next because we've got to go on the motorway on the way back so probably won't see anything that but yeah at least we've got something I'm happy about that I've stuck the 100 millimeter on and luckily this is quite a lazy stop so the car is just there so I, I changed it inside the car so that I didn't get any snow inside the camera and the 100 millimeter doesn't get as close as I was hoping for, but it is getting this line of rocks. We're looking at this bit here and this bit. So you get this line of rocks in the foreground. So it's sort of gray, then the darks and white, then gray, then the trees, then gray. It's quite a bit of gray, but that's all right. I quite like the contrast between the dark rocks and the white snow. I'm not too sure about this side actually. Maybe we should go. Uh, I think we need to be about there. The thing is we need to watch out for this rock here. So we'll make sure it's level. I'd quite like to get that small rock in, but to do that, I'd either have to go further this way, then we'll get less of the trees, or probably higher up, but then the gap between the rocks and the trees will be bigger. Maybe we'll just miss that. Yeah, we'll go with this. And then we'll focus on this snowy bit down here. Okay. 
and take that. It's sticking into the frame slightly there. You know what, I changed my mind again. I changed my mind again slightly and I've I don't like the frame when that rocks in. I think this works better. Then this is more on the left hand side. It looks a bit more colourful now as well than before. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have a bit of a play here. The light's changing around a bit. Um, it's trying to make its way out behind them clouds. So fingers crossed we'll get a view that way too. And it looks like the view is clearing behind those trees now. So we'll leave this camera here for now. But um, I've tried to do a video in that valley three times now. First time the GoPro didn't work. Second time the microphone didn't work. And third time I couldn't get there. So I will be there again at some point. I hate losing. So yeah. Maybe I'll try and find some wildlife closer to home. And then it's not as big a deal when it doesn't go right. But if, if you want to help support the channel and get more videos like this, I've got prints and greetings cards starting from £2.50 with free UK postage over on adamkappa.co.uk. I'll link that down below. Or please hit the like button and subscribe and share the videos around. That helps support the channel too. See you next time. I don't even think there's going to be a good sunrise. It's just sort of grey. Yeah. This place hates me. This is like the third time I've been up here this week. Maybe we'll get a picture of these rocks.